Hello, this is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Service Management Leadership. Today we're in the 27th of our series on ITIL Service Operations. We're still talking about event management, and in this video, we're going to talk about measuring your effectiveness of your process. I want to remind you that this series is based off of a BMC white paper. Also, look down in the description for links to other playlists. We have hundreds of videos out there, hundreds and hundreds, and so we've used playlists to help have multiple videos on similar topics, similar viewpoints, or different viewpoints, similar video, uh, similar topics. You understand. So on event management, we may have dozens of event management videos, all maybe saying similar things from different viewpoints. So measuring our effectiveness. To help you, to help us gauge our efficiency and effectiveness, to ITIL buzzwords, efficiency and effectiveness, your ITIL management process, these are a few of the KPIs. And when we think of KPIs, they're key performance indicators which help us understand the effectiveness and the efficiency of our process. Well, CSS, critical success factors, we have those metrics and other videos, they talk about, are we being successful? This we're caring more about it, are we being effective? So we have four to talk about real quick. Number one, the number or percentage of events that become incidents. We care about those incidents and how they, be, where, what are their origins of that incident? Did they come through event management? Which would then help us maybe have process improvement on detecting and handling those events better. Number two, the configuration items, CIs, that generate the most events. We sure want to know that because maybe it tells us we bought a bad batch of servers or networking gear or we're having a certain patch issue and we need to address it. So we really care about those CIs that are generating the most events. Number three, how many events are reported by your monitoring tools in the breakdown by event category. So we care about how these events are generated and broken down by category. Lastly, the total percentage of events that become incidents or changes, and more specifically, how many of these incidents are reported by your automated systems. We care where those, those incidents, where those events came from. And if they came from this IT automation that I've spoke about frequently in this series, then we really need to help understand our automation and help mature our automation because our processes are saying, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, there's something wrong. This is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel. Please like or share the video. Subscribe to our channel. Leave me feedback below. Also, feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. Jeffrey T. Fertiller. I'm pretty easy to find. I hope you have a great, great day. Bye.